It's been five years since 4A Games last journeyed into the subterranea of post-apocalyptic Moscow with Metro Last Light, but soon the next chapter of Artyom's story will be told when Metro Exodus emerges in February. As the title suggests, Exodus will take players far beyond the confines of the claustrophobic Metro system and across the vast, unforgiving Russian landscape on a year-long journey to Vladivostok. With a five-year production time between games, you'll be forgiven for needing a quick refresher on the story, so allow us to bring you up to speed at speed. It's 2033 and the world has been ravaged by a global nuclear holocaust. In Russia's capital, Moscow survivors have retreated to the underground metro system and formed new communities and rival factions. Life is hard, especially as their new home is also populated by bloodthirsty mutants. Young Artyom's life is forever changed when he's asked to travel far from his home to Polis at the heart of the metro to issue a warning. The Dark Ones are coming. The Dark Ones, suspected to be the next evolution of mankind, apparently cause humans to suffer fatal hallucinations, but not Artyom. This quirk catches the eye of this guy, Bourbon. He teams up with Artyom and teaches him survival lessons en route to his next destination, Dry Station. There, Bourbon is almost immediately killed by the leader of a bandit faction. This is not one of the survival lessons. Down a friend, Artyom gets a new one, Khan. He's a member of the Spartan Rangers who are exactly the guys Artyom's trying to warn about the Dark Ones. Together, they journey to Polis, fighting through the Communist Red Line, the Nazi Fourth Reich, and even sentient electric orbs. Artyom finally reaches Polis and finds his target, Miller, head of the Spartan Rangers. Miller agrees that the Dark Ones are a threat, the Polis cancel, not so much. Miller helps anyway and directs Artyom to D6, a nuclear missile launch facility that could once again scorch Moscow and all the Dark Ones with it. One problem, nobody knows where it is. Artyom goes to the library, a huge archive full of librarians. Not the bookish, shushy kind, but massive, intelligent mutant gorillas who love a good stare down. Artyom finally looks enough of them in the eye to locate the directions to D6. The last leg of this exhausting odyssey has Artyom extracting nuclear fuel rods from a giant ugly flesh pile called the Biomass, climbing the 540 meter tall Austin Kino broadcast tower and being trapped in his own subconsciousness by the Dark Ones. Nobody said wiping out an entire species was easy, but Artyom persists and successfully rains down nuclear fire on the Dark Ones, which is a pity because it turns out they just wanted to be friends. A year later and word reaches Artyom of a surviving Dark One. Khan thinks they're the key to humanity's survival. Miller doesn't. He tells Artyom to find and kill the Dark One with the help of Master Sniper and his daughter, Anna. Artyom finds the Dark One, but eh, it's just a kid. They're both captured by the Nazi Reich and separated, but Artyom is quickly rescued by Pavel Morozov, a red line grunt. The pair form a close bond until, twist, Pavel reveals that he's actually a high-ranking red line officer. Together with Red Line General Corbett and treacherous Spartan Ranger Lesnitsky, he plans to take D6 by force. Tortured and facing execution, Artyom is saved by Leonid Moskvin, son of the Red Line's leader. He escapes and battles his way to Okchibraskaya Station, where he discovers a terrible secret. The Red Line plans to infect stations with a powerful strain of the Ebola virus stolen from D6 and then murder the survivors until they're the only remaining faction. Artyom reunites with and romances Anna, goes on a surreal vision quest with Khan, and resolves to protect the young Dark One. Throughout this, there are two major revelations. Young Artyom is not only the reason mutants got into the Metro, but also the first person to meet a Dark One. One thrilling train rescue later, and Artyom and the Dark One child are back on the road to Polis. Once there, they interrupt a peace settlement between the major feuding factions to drop some bombs. Truth, not nuclear for once. The Red Line's leader is psychically coerced into revealing their diabolical scheme, and all hell breaks loose. General Corbett smashes an armored train straight into Artyom and the Rangers, and all hope appears to be lost. But then, just as an injured Artyom is about to self-destruct D6, a whole group of Dark Ones arrive in the nick of time and wipe out the Red Line. The young Dark One and his fellow survivors bid Artyom a fond farewell and promise to one day return. Which brings us to the end of Artyom's story so far, a story that will continue in Metro Exodus. What we know is that it's set two years after the events of Last Light and that Artyom and Anna are now traveling cross-country along the Trans-Siberian Railway. Why have they abandoned Metro? What new dangers will they face? All will no doubt be revealed when Metro Exodus launches February 15, 2019.